Welcome back to Recap. We're back at it once again. We're hitting the Grateful Dead. Uh, it's been a little bit, so I'm excited. This one is called Terrapin Station. Okay, I definitely don't know this one. Um, it was suggested by a few people. Uh, Wade Falls, Brian Fisher, Joe Shu, Christopher KW's Life, among others, all suggested this song. They also suggested the studio version, so that's the one I'm going to do, or at least a few of them did. Um, I've done mostly live versions of uh, Grateful Dead songs, and I am probably going to lean towards mostly live, ver live versions moving forward, unless they're specifically asked for, and this was uh, a studio version was specifically asked for here. Uh, just so you know, make sure you sit back, relax, grab a beverage. Uh, if you like to smoke something, smoke that, smoke your cigar or cigarette or whatever. Relax, maybe close your eyes and lean back because we're in this for the long haul. This is a 16-minute song. So it's going to be a little bit. Hopefully you, you uh, stick with it with me. I'm excited. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's get to it. So far, so good. I'm liking it. Uh, there's a story. There's a storyteller. Uh, so I'm liking that. Uh, real quick, I, is it Jerry singing? I think it sounds more like Jerry Garcia singing. I was thinking it might have been Bob Weir, but it, it, it sounds more like Jerry. If you can just clarify for me, I'm pretty sure it's Jerry. Let's get back to it. Which of you to gain me tell will risk uncertainty? Try the soldier be much too wise. Strategy was a strength and not disaster. i 
job is to shed light and not to master. say that I think this might be my favorite Grateful Dead song so far. We got a long way to go, so it might change, but as of right now, I think it is. That guitar solo was really, really good, and unlike some of the other ones uh, where it's a little understated or kind of in the background a guitar solo, this one seems more like it's on the forefront and really focused on, and uh, it was excellent. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's one of the reasons why I think this might be my favorite song by them, uh, but so far, so good. Let's let's keep going, because we got a long way to go still. Let's hit it.
um, seems like they, they changed it up just a little bit here the last couple of minutes, and they're just kind of like jamming now. And I know this is a studio version, um, but, you know, because usually you would think, uh, you know, you would jam or extend a song out at a live show. This is a studio version, and they're still kind of just jamming out. And uh, like I said, they, they change it up a little, a little bit. It's, it's slightly different. And right before I paused it here, it sounded like it was going into something else. So this song seems like it evolves as we go. Um, it doesn't, the story, I guess, maybe is over. Um, I really liked it, though, because they were talking about the storyteller doesn't have a choice. He's just telling you what, you know, he's just telling you what, what happened. And uh, it's up to you to decide if uh, the man who took the woman back made a good decision or not. Uh, so yeah, so far, I, I, I can confidently now say that this is my favorite Grateful Dead song. Let's get back to it. These spaces filled with darkness The obvious was here With nothing to believe in The compass always points to terror different song now uh there's like i think there's bongos in there it sounds like there's bongos 
Um, also, Jerry's doing some very, very cool things on the guitar that I never thought I'd hear in a Grateful Dead song. The way that the way that he, I don't know what that was. That 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 he did that a few times, and that was really, really cool. Um, yeah, I, this song is absolutely amazing. I am loving this. Let's get right back to it. We're almost done. Let's finish it up. Okay, um, somebody asked me now what my favorite Grateful Dead song is. It's Terrapin Station. This is my new favorite Gra Grateful Dead song. Um, I want to thank everybody who suggested this. This was so good, so worth it. I know it's long. I hope you stuck with it because it was. it's definitely well worth it. So good. Um, I didn't mention the bass. The bass was the bass was pretty impressive in there as well. Um, yeah, I gotta give, I'm going to give this song a 9. This is going to be a 9, and it might move up to a 9.5 or even a 10 the more I listen to it, because it's going right in the playlist. I'm going to listen to this again. I'm probably going to turn this off when I'm done with this and listen to it again. It's that good. Um, it's still the, Maybe the reason why I wouldn't put it as a 10 is it still falls into a song, or, you know, like, like all the other Grateful Dead songs, and this is just me personally, you have to kind of be in a mood for it. And there's a few songs that are like that that I've listened to so far for Grateful Dead where if you're not in that kind of a Grateful Dead mode, in that kind of a mood, it, they probably aren't going to be what you want to listen to. My favorite songs in all my in all my uh, tens or whatever you'd want to say 
are all songs that I could probably listen I can listen to with any no matter what my mood is at any time. So Grateful Dead, kind of like Pink Floyd too, where you kind of got to be in a mood to listen to it. But if the mood strikes, it's absolutely perfect. And like I said, this is still a nine, and that's an amazing rating. It's way higher than anything else I've given for Grateful Dead because it's worth it. The song is great. Um, real quick, I've been teasing. It's still coming. I promise it's coming probably this week. My favorite song of all time. I'm going to review it. I'm going to do it. It's an Aerosmith song. It's a cover, and the hint was Peter Green. If you want to hear it, let me know in the comments. And, um, yeah, hopefully people get excited to hear it. It'll be later on in the week. Until then, I will see you later.